What's up guys, Shane here with Fugitive 3 d Printing, and today we're going to assemble this Wingman firearm from the game Titanfall. So welcome back guys, I said here we're going to go ahead and put together the Wingman firearm from Titanfall. I love this gun, it's a great model, it's made by Yori, I hope I'm spelling, saying his name right. And I got this because he now only does this on Patreon, but I got this way before he used to publish everything on my Factory. I saw this probably almost a year ago when I saw this, downloaded it, said, you know, one day I'm going to print that. Here we are a year later, I'm finally getting to it. But you can no longer sadly download this, you have to be a patron of his. Which necessarily isn't a bad thing, it's just showing that his designs have become so popular, he's able to make quite a bit of money off it. He's over $800 a month via Patreon. And in order to get access to models like this, you have to be a patron of $5 or more per month. You can get some designs, like his small items, at $3 a month. But at the $5 a month, it unlocks everything for you. And see, real quick here, I went ahead and mocked it up. I have some of these clips from Harbor Freight, and these work out great for putting together models like this. Everything is pretty much, well, the gun is basically split in half uh, for the most part. There's like one or two parts that's actually both sides, but not, not many of them. And this was great. I can just pinch these on and able to hold a lot of the parts together so I can kind of see how everything matches up, where the parts actually go. Because I know I don't have a patron, like I'm not one of his patrons, I don't have access to, unless he has like a PDF or something, on how to assemble it. So I actually went off of Uncle Jesse's video where he worked on his. He didn't actually do an assembly, but just looking at the photos and a couple stills out of his video, I was able to figure out how to finally put this together. Again, this is just friction fit right now, and it's actually fairly loose. Uh, two easy parts to come apart right like so, and it'll go back together once you line it all back up. So yeah, it's just friction fit. I wanted to make sure that I had everything where it was. And I also wanted to figure out the colors I wanted to use. So all the black parts were printed on the Anycubic IQ Mega with the stock black filament that came with that printer. They all came out absolutely gorgeous. There's a few start and stop um, layer changes that I probably need to fix a little bit more on my slicer profile, but it's pretty good beyond that. And then all the blue parts were printed in Shun Blue PLA on the Crowdy CR10. And I was able to do that, I think about two prints. I kind of changed a few things around how I wanted things oriented and whatnot, just to make sure all the layer lines were going the same way and it just looked like a better model. So now let's go ahead and I'm just gonna assemble it. I'll lay out some parts, but like I said, I print everything in black first. So I literally have an entire gun in black. I decided I wanted a two-tone because I don't really have paint here to paint it. So I, this was kind of the general idea what I thought I was going to do and then I have a whole bunch of accent pieces in the blue that are going to get glued to the black parts and then I have a few of the black accent pieces that will get glued to the blue parts. Again just trying to make it two-tone, make it look a little bit cooler uh, for just using printed parts. No paint is going to go on this at all at this time. Uh, yeah so I'm just going to time lapse putting this together and we'll see how it turns out.
All right, and here it is, fully assembled. It was a little bit of a pain. I, uh, I screwed a few things up, but you live and learn. This is actually the first print I have ever assembled and glued. The first prop, I should say. That was, I also this, I guess, I did the Thor hammer recently. I didn't do a video on that. But that was five parts. Like, the hammer was two parts, the handle was, was uh, three parts. That was nothing compared to this, absolutely nothing. But this came out gorgeous. I think, and I really like it. I like the two-tone that I had going here for it. I even got in the front. I am missing one of the little black pieces here. I apparently forgot to print it. I, I printed, I thought I printed everything, but you have to print like two of this one. I don't think I did that. Uh, my alignment on some of these were not quite perfect. So this is Bob Smith Industries Instaset, and this is highly recommended by Joel and uh, uh, Bill Duran over at uh, Punish Props. Highly recommend this stuff. So I finally got a bottle, ordered in, and literally it says Instaset. It pretty much is like you have maybe a second to get it on there straight and then bam, it is done. And I'm using some 50 cent CA glue that I found at a local bazaar. And it's working, but I am glued to heck. Like my finger bends, but the skin doesn't. Again, I've never really done anything this intricate before. So I'm bound to glue myself like crazy. I probably should wear gloves. Maybe next time, live and learn. But either way, yeah, this came out great. I did put this shaft on backwards. So when I was trying to actually put the front and back half assembly together, it wasn't working out. I had to basically break it because it was on a shaft that runs all the way from here all the way into the back of the model. I basically had to break the shaft, flip it around and re-glue it. It went in there good. I mean, it's in there nice and tight now. It's glued on both sides. And then I put the safety right here on backwards. I'm pretty sure it should be the other way to make it a little rounded when you push down and flat when you push back up. Kind of makes sense to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty awesome. The sights are great. They're in there. I think the way they should be. Yeah, a little bit off. Uh, that is actually friction fit because that was so doggone tight, I was afraid I wasn't able to glue it in properly. But again, the two printers, the CR10 and the Anycubic i3 Mega, both printed this out great. And I think that with all these other parts that I have, I'm going to save them and reprint, obviously, the parts that I did use for this. And maybe I'll paint it one day and paint another version. But I mean, yeah, this has great weight to it. All um, 15 or 20% infill on all of this. Very little support needed. Yuri makes amazing things. And I think I am now, after assembling this, finally gluing it, like I had it with the clips for a while. But after gluing this, I really think I'm gonna go ahead and bite the bullet and become a patron of his because it is just too great of a model. And I really think I should support him and what he does because this, I would love to print up more of his things. So the amazing next part of this video is if you wanna see me do more projects and prop building like this, like the video and leave me a comment down below uh, that you would like to see that or that you wouldn't. I do a lot of reviews on this channel, mainly filament reviews because I personally love testing filament. I like testing out the no name brands, some that I buy, some that are sent to me, and then I can let you guys know if it's crap or not. And most everything out there is pretty good nowadays. Some things aren't that great, but I'll leave that. But either way, if you do wanna see more of this, please let me know. I would love to do more of this, but I need to know there's interest first. Kinda of gives like a little mini handle. <laughs> Oh, and then down below, there's going to be a link for Yori's Patreon page. So please go down there, check him out. If you want to print out this model, become a patron of his and you'll get access. And that's a wrap, guys. I thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, and again, if you want to see more videos like this, please give the video a like. If you didn't, thumbs down. Leave me some comments down below, you know, pros and cons of doing project videos like this. If you want to support me, best thing to do is hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. That way you get an email notification anytime I upload new content and you see projects like this. If you guys want to support me financially, down below me is going to be a Patreon link. Donate me a dollar or more. I greatly appreciate it. Current Patreons, you guys are awesome. So the money I get from Patreon goes to pay for some filament reviews that I purchase on my own money. Uh, being a patron of mine could allow me to be a patron of Yuri's and be able to get more of his models. Again, this would be a $5 a month I would have to spend to get his different models and probably do at least one a month to make it worthwhile. So if you guys want to support me without spending your money, down below, lots of fit links, do your daily shopping with those. I greatly appreciate it and I thank you even just for watching this video. So until next time guys, happy printing.